Chavez and Martinez is a fight that appeals to the Hispanic boxing fan. Because one thing about the Hispanic boxing fan is he's knowledgeable. And everybody knows that Chavez and Martinez is a significant, meaningful fight. And that's why the uh, Thomas and Mack is virtually sold out. We're opening up closed circuit. The other fight, Canelo is a good personality and he's a good fighter. But it's a really essentially a mean, it's just another fight. It's a meaningless fight. So, you know, people vote with their pocketbook, and the people have overwhelmingly voted for what is clearly a meaningful fight. I feel sorry for Canelo because he should realize that he's being used by his promoter because there was no reason when particularly after his original opponent Williams fell out and they didn't have an opponent and then Chavez won and we elected to go on this date September 15 that he should have gone another date because hey everybody realized it wasn't the same kind of fight but his promoter just uh, be the, because of ego or whatever, decided to stay on September 15th. That was a disservice to Canelo, and that's wrong. You don't do that to a fighter that you're promoting. So I blame Golden Boy for making Canelo look like a second raider. You know, we had good relationships with uh, Steve Wynn. Uh, we knew that this was the kind of fight where Win would bring in great customers and uh, have a big demand, which in effect took place. Uh, I mean, people over at Win are like family. Uh, and uh, HBO knew this was uh, a major fight. They had uh, Sergio Martinez and Julio uh, on HBO for a number of fights. Uh, so. I mean, it wasn't very, very hard to convince anybody that this was going to be a major show. I think that what advice I would have for Oscar is don't have amnesia. Remember, Oscar, what was done for your career, how you, who was much more advanced than Julio, because you were a Olympic champion, how you were protected in the first few years before you were ready to, to, to fly. Remember, when we first went to HBO with you, Oscar, uh, they wanted to match you for your first fight on HBO with the late Chicanita Hernandez. And if we had agreed to do that fight at that particular time, there would not have been an Oscar De La Hoya. So we waited a year, right? You fought Rialis, you fought another guy, and then we put you with Chicanito and you won the fight. But there's an art to all of this thing. You can't have somebody fly before they're ready. And if you do, you, you try, you're being irresponsible. Julio's signature fight, first one, was when he beat Zabik for the WBC title. And then we gave him a series of fights all on HBO uh, where we saw the improvement. And finally, as the last test, we put him in with Andy Lee. And based on how he showed in the Andy Lee fight, we said the guy is ready. Now, I didn't care that Sergio and his promoter were calling us out for two years. I wasn't going to put Julio in with Sergio because he would have got his ass kicked. He wasn't ready. Now he's ready. Now he's not only ready, I believe he's going to win the fight. That's what a promoter does. I mean, what else does a promoter do? I do it a simple way. Be determined and never, ever quit. Never give up, never quit. As long as there's a ray of hope, keep battling, and the chances are you'll come out okay. At least that's worked for me. Throughout my life, I'm over 80 years old, so I've been around a long time. I want to say hello to the Heckler Show, Heckler E and Heckler C. Don't miss 
any of their shows.